Okay, y'all. I'm about wore out already. The video ain't even got started good. So let me bring you up to speed. Uh, I didn't film everything I was doing because it was a whole lot of work. I didn't want to wear y'all out. But I had to tote a feeder in here because it's thick, which is what I like. No four-wheeler trails, no bush hogged out everything. And I put a tripod feeder up in here where I have been putting corn out. Um, I would love for it to be acorns and natural food source and stuff figured out where I didn't have to feed corn, but new area, that is not the case. I've said that before, but there's always somebody new that asked a question. And I took my climbing stand out of here because one thing I don't like about a climbing stand or a saddle or any of that kind of stuff is by the time you walk into a place, especially here in Mississippi because it is still very warm. I mean, we still upper 80s, okay? Up north, you guys probably don't have this problem. But by the time you come walking into your place, and I don't like to park 20 yards from where I'm hunting. I like to park way away, walk in a good ways to where I'm hunting. The time you walk in and then climb up that tree and take your time climbing and then get your bow pulled up and all this, and then you don't really have a lot of room to move around and be comfortable. Sure don't really have anywhere to clamp a camera and all that kind of stuff. So I'm not a huge fan of the climbers for that purpose. Now, for being able to slip into somewhere and be like, oh, I wanna hunt right here and climb a tree, they're excellent. So they have their place. I love my old man climbers, which any climbers. So what I've done is I've toted a feeder in here. I toted my three sacks of corn in here. I toted this ladder stand in here. So this one is about 20, 24, 25, something like that foot in there. I, didn't, I hadn't measured it. And I really like it because it's got this bar. It's really light. I can stand it up by hand. I have had this thing a really long time. It's very light. It is made out of conduit. I did not build it. Uh, I got it from somebody, and I love it. It liked to have got destroyed. You see how bent up it is? In the old deer camp I was in, well, they come in and logged it in the summer. Didn't tell them, we didn't have no idea, and they just cut the tree down with it on there and drug it off to the side, and, I mean, they didn't care, which, you know, I understand. They don't cater to hunters. But I did salvage it, straightened it out, done some welding on it, got it fixed, and I have put it up. And the thing I like is this bar out here, I can prop my rifle on it. Now, it is not as great for bow hunting, but you can bow hunt out of it. But you can also drape some camouflage netting and stuff around it. So I will be doing that in the near future and where I can sit here with my rifle. And this is pretty thick cover. I'll turn the camera around and let you see. Um, I have seen several deer in here. I have got pictures of a, a good many bucks in here. Not really any trophy bucks, but, I, you know, I'm here to relax and enjoy film such as that. So I'm about wore out what I am fixing to do now. I will tag y'all along with this because I can manage to take a camera and fool with it. I ain't having to tote a bunch of heavy stuff. Y'all, I done worked up a sweat. And that was the thing about the climbing and all that stuff. You done worked up a sweat time you climb up a climbing stand, walk into the woods a long ways, and you you smell. I mean, it don't matter what you sprayed on your clothes. Um, so with this, you can kind of ease in and just climb up here and sit down and you don't make no bunch of racket. You don't, you know. So that is what I like about a ladder stand. And I'm, I'm shooting houses are great. They're really great for kids. Blinds are great, great for kids. For me, this ladder stand is probably my preferred thing to hunt out of. Uh, my, and I had somebody ask the other day, so what is your preferred way of hunting deer hunting? I like to take a rifle and slip around the woods. Ideally, that is my idea of hunting. Just get my rifle and slip around and look for deer, look for movement, and we will be doing a good bit of that. We'll strap a GoPro on and we'll do some of that on days when there ain't a bunch of people up in the woods. And I generally hunt in the middle of the week. So, uh, and I see something moving out there. Now it's probably a squirrel. They're probably waiting for me to get out of here so they can go check my feeder. 
<laughs> so hang with me. Let's get the rest of this squared away. Well, that is your little looks here around. We fixing to get down out of here and I am on a big old sweet gum tree and I have got cover right here beside me, which is what I like and uh, strapped good. I got a good heavy strap hooked around this tree, ratchet strap. I like my stands to be secure. I don't like to be up here and they rickety and wobbling around. Just like that, I ain't, no, not me, no sir. <laughs> I ain't Mr. Safety, but I ain't Mr. Stupid either. <laughs> I got me a bag. I got all my cameras in there. I think I'm going to take this one. You see, I've been pulling. I find rabbit tobacco. When I find it, I bring it along with me. I got all kind of paraphernalia here. Whoa, now. All right. Double check. I towed it one while I go into the woods to my other spot over there. And didn't even have a card in it. Yeah, I got a card in this one. Yeah. So I'm going to take this persimmon rice bran. We're going to put some of that in there too. All right, so a while ago, I forgot to finish telling you what I was going to tell you about why I put a feeder out here because I get sidetracked. I be telling you something and I think of something else I want to tell you and I'm scared I'm going to forget what I was going to tell you. So I go on and start telling you that and then I forget what I was telling you. So, And what was I saying? Oh, yeah. The reason I brought this feeder in here, number one, in Mississippi, it is illegal to pull corn on the ground. Uh, we do it occasionally and sprinkle a little bit, but it is illegal to hunt over it. Now, you can pour it on the ground as long as you ain't hunting over it. So normally what I do when I'm scouting, I come in and pour about a 50-pound sack on the ground, and I come back two or three days to see if it's been cleaned up. If they've eaten it all, you sit there and hunt, they'll come in to check it. So put the feeder because I would... If you put corn, you can put it anywhere in Mississippi. It's legal to bait. We can bait in Mississippi. And you can put it in a trough, and you can pour it full. But I've got pictures in this location of about eight raccoons at one time, six, seven, eight deer. They're just, they'll clean it up in like two days. Well, this is a 30-minute drive over here for me, so I have to stop and take a, several hours out of my day to drive over here to put corn out so that I can hunt in two or three days. So that ain't ideal. So this slowly distributes the feed out so that when I get ready to come hunt, this is legal. And they could be corn on the ground then. It just ain't sitting there piled up. So that is the thing. So we're fixing to put some of this rice bran and we're gonna pour it around a stump or something over here. I don't know, but anyway, I just wanted to explain. So what I had to do, this is an old feeder I had and it, the bottom broke off, so I went and bought one of those mold tree and just put it on there. And it just, I took some self drilling screws, them wood screws for metal to put tin on your house, you know. And I just put three of them in there and screwed it right to the bottom. Y'all see that? It worked like a charm. Them things about $45. Four AA batteries, and they work good. Put no light 
Cause it's gonna rain. We just want some smell. You always got to have a stick. Yeah, that ain't right. This way. We're going to make sure it takes pictures. Yeah, it took a picture. All right. Well, we're good to go. Let's go to the house. We got other stuff we got to do. When we go to town today, we're going to get some camouflage and zip tied up there around that thing so we can be. The reason I like to have it camouflage around is because when I see a deer coming in, I can't do like most normal hunters and just be still. <laughs> I gotta reach and turn the camera on. <laughs> Else y'all don't get to see nothing. And that's one thing I don't like about the climbing stand. I can't do that in it. It all, uh, I ain't got enough room up there for all that sort of stuff. So it makes it very, very difficult. So we're gonna get all that squared away. That way we can set that and film and get some great footage of deer hunting. So y'all, I am headed out, headed to the truck. And today is November 5th, voting day. Let me ask you a question. Would you still suggest everybody go vote if you knew they was voting for the opposing opponent? <laughs> I just, that was a random thought I had. I thought, you know, all these people saying, get out and go vote. All year they've been cussing you for saying you was going to vote for the opposing person. Why do they want you to vote? They know you're going to vote for somebody they don't like. <laughs> Y'all think about it. <laughs> anyway, it is voting day. Go vote. Best way to do things, the way you like to do it. We'll see y'all. Y'all have a good one. I got me a trail padded out now. I can slip in there without making no racket. 